yeah, you're right. Yeah. Uh, it's true. I've just done a massive tour of New Zealand. I've been from Northland to Southland. Northland to Southland. Do you know what I've concluded from this? White people should not be allowed to name things anymore. <laughs> Northland and Southland. Do we not learn anything from North Island and South Island? 90 Mile Beach. I saw a road called Avenue Road. <laughs> when I went to school, I went to school with a dude, his name was Guy Chapman. That's essentially like calling somebody Man Man Man. <laughs> I used to tour overseas, used to go overseas. Remember that? That was fun, eh? <laughs> My favourite thing about going overseas is when you meet a Kiwi overseas, they become super Kiwis. <laughs> you bump into a Kiwi on a Thai beach, you're like, g'day. Are you from New Zealand? Oh, cheer, bro, too much I am. <laughs> Far out, good to see you. Don't forget your roots, my friend. Yeah, don't forget your family. I'm like, dude, you're a dentist from Parnell. <laughs> My favourite thing that's ever happened overseas was when I met a New Zealander on a plane. Now, New Zealanders have this unique ability, and that is the ability to give you a compliment and then insult you in the same sentence. <laughs> this guy says to me, he goes, he recognised me, right? And he goes, mate, you've made it. You've bloody made it. The other night, I was doing a pub quiz. You were one of the questions. I went, what do you mean? He goes, there was a picture around. Your face came up. We all had to guess who you are. You've made it. I went, oh, thanks very much. He goes, yeah, no one got it right. <laughs> thanks. You can clap. I know a lot of the kind of guy that enjoys craft beer, and that's because I do. Oh, my God. I'm a late adopter, but I can't go back now. I need a beer that tastes like socks. I really do. <laughs> Like Grandad Socks, <laughs> which sounds like the name of a craft beer, doesn't it? If you went up to Ponsonby Road and went, can I have a pint of Grandad Socks? They'd bring something out. <laughs> They'd go, here you go, mate. That's $18, thanks. <laughs> I, I turned 40 this year and I, I, it's, it's, things happen. You, you start liking uh, craft beer. I started collecting vinyl. I started getting grumpier. I get grumpy at stupid things now. I get grumpy at my supermarket. I do most of the shopping in our house because uh, I do most of the cooking. And I get really grumpy with a particular supermarket checkout operator that sometimes I have to go to. And why I get grumpy is because she likes to guess what I'm cooking for dinner <laughs> based on my purchases. <laughs> and I think why I hate it is because the guesses aren't even good. They're obvious guesses. Like the taco shells will go past, right? And she'll go, oh, tacos tonight, is it? I'm like, no shit. No, I was going to break them up and make nachos. <laughs> if only there was an easier way. <laughs> or like I buy like a nice bit of uh, meat, like a roast or something. She'd go, oh, coming to your place for dinner tonight. I'm thinking, no, you're fucking not. <laughs> do you know what I'm going to do one day? <laughs> I'm going to walk into the supermarket, buy two things, go up to her and just put them down. A big kumara and condoms. <laughs> what am I doing there? It is a root vegetable, I suppose. Hey, uh, you guys have been great. We'll see you later. Hey, cheers.